advanced hydrogen. We've got a 2006 F-150 running one of my dry cells. You guys have seen the video already. There it is right there. 21 plate dry cell. Uh, it's running 54 amps with the engine running. Aaron, so there's a vacuum being pulled right on this reservoir. Okay, we're gonna crack this reservoir open. I want you to see what 54 amps looks like from one of my dry cells. Do you see that? There's a vacuum being pulled on that. Look at all that hydrogen. Look at the gas. Do you see that? There's no water coming out of there or nothing. This is a secondary reservoir. Isn't that insane? Okay, we can crack open this reservoir just to see what it looks like real quick. Oh, we're gonna do that one. I said you saw this one on uh, YouTube. This is the F-150 uh, install, and this is the gentleman who owns the truck. And he came in this morning because we're having some problems with the fuses. So I have an idea on the fuses. We're gonna split the fuses and have two relays, and I'm gonna go ahead and double the wire going in here because everything's just getting a bit hot. The wires are getting a little bit warm at 54 amps. But uh, here's the reservoir. Really, you can't even see anything in it. It's just like, it's, it's white foam and it's splashing everywhere. And I'm trying to get a good shot in on the uh, squirting, but I really can't. There's just so much gas in there, I really can't get a good shot of it. it looks like something on fire in there, it's pretty insane. But, uh, advanced hydrogen, I'll keep you updated. So far, we're looking at how many miles per gallon are you getting out of this now? Sort of, about 10 more. Yeah, we're looking at 10 more miles per gallon. And uh, we just amped it up. I'm gonna we're putting in uh, at least five liters a minute in this truck now, versus before he was getting about four liters a minute. And we did not adjust the IFE. The FE over voltage is still at, uh, I want to say, 2.6 is what I did it. <clears throat> We're going to leave that alone. I'm just going to see what kind of mileage gains we can get out of amping the cell up. He has a 160 amp alternator in there inside this truck, so we can play around with this thing and, and have some fun with it. And plus, he's a uh, good sport about it, so if the wires melt, we'll just replace them. <laughs> Anyways, you got it. Uh, Five liters a minute going in an F-150. He was getting 10 more miles per gallon, which put him up at 23. Now we're gonna see what he gets with uh, a little over five liters a minute going in this truck.